party tuesday night time to party and watch vhs tapes and you know what tonight is tonight is the toe tapping tournament our annual tournament where we take all the best songs and we have them go toe to toe and we declare a champion and uh, you know what it's fitting that this is episode uh 311 you know because of the band 311 oh, you're familiar omaha right. nebraska uh, yeah. rap rock band yeah, yeah. and I'm it's really down these for this songs are time. are so catchy that you tap your toes to them hence the toe tapping I, you don't need to explain it nick that it, it okay. speaks for itself All right, it got just, it. yeah um yeah so this is this is what year five year four of the toe tapping i think it's year five actually i think we did it no 2020 yeah, it 20. Okay, this is the fourth anniversary then. Um, all right, and we have a, a special guest coming on to be our judge. I'm excited about that. This I is the fifth year of it. So, fifth, Oh, this is year number five now. This is year five. So you. we've got four completed ones where we've declared a winner, and now we will declare the fifth winner this year. 
See, I think we okay. got to do a World Cup with all the past winners to compete in that big one at some point. I, you know, uh, I, I rewatched last year's tournament. And you said that exact thing. <laughs> <laughs> so until next year, when we <laughs> yeah, I say a lot that. of things. I say a lot of things. Um, sure all right, do. let's. Uh, we got a lot to cover. Should we? Uh, let's just jump into a Fun Fudge Festival Classic. Let's get to the classics. What are we? You caught me with my pants down, but no one sells carpet or waterbeds for less. Sorry about that. I was so taken back by Joe declaring himself winner many of the years that he was not winner that it really, it, it, it threw me off. I'm, I, I'm definitely, I didn't win all those years. I might have fudged one of them, <laughs> but uh, well, I believe, I, I'm, I'm always in the finals. I believe George in the, in the cool guy shades and uh, is that Peter Tork? cap there you're wearing his um, original cap yeah uh, right out of his uh, crypt you were the winner of last year's tournament if i'm not mistaken i, I sure won was 2022 oh oh well, you won last year what'd you win with um i'm going to show you in uh okay. today's uh found footage festival classic all right and i was the and i was the finalist against them joe just so you know oh really? okay well one <laughs> year i didn't make the finals who cares okay. <laughs> Are you keeping up with the Commodore? Because the Commodore is keeping up with you. In a world of fun and fantasy, and ever-changing views, and computer terminology, Commodore is news. Are you keeping up with the Commodore? Because the Commodore is keeping up with you. Are you keeping up with the Commodore? Because the Commodore is keeping up with you. What about the flying window? Best a worthy winner. winner of all time. A and worthy you know winner, too. That is, you know, I sometimes wake up in the morning with that song on my head. And <laughs> I don't mind a, it. Yeah, there's a, a couple of songs that I'm going to try to enter as my picks this year in the, the tournament that are those songs that, you know, we're on tour. We're, we, we wake up in Seattle, Washington, and in the hotel, this I wake up and this is in my head, that kind yep. of thing. They just surface every so often. That's yeah. what's so great about the tournament. Um, all right. Uh, Steve, you selling out to anybody? I certainly am. Um, you might remember last week I sold out to Hero Clicks for their Marvel uh, stuff. This week I'm selling out for Hero Clicks for their DC stuff. So um, Hero Clicks has been celebrating more than. Let me throw up that so everyone can see what, what I'm selling out to. Um, Hero Clicks is celebrating more than 20 years as a fun, fan driven game, but Hero Clicks is also an awesome miniatures collectible line with weird, wacky, and awesome minis. The HeroClix Iconics assortment um, has awesome new affordable displayable mini sets, including the first appearance of Wolverine, Iron Man's Hall of Armors, Colossal King, the Death of Superman, Batman's Nightfall storyline, and even memeable events, including the Pointing Spider-Man, Sad Wolverine, and the Batman Slap Beam. You can order your HeroClix and HeroClix Iconics products at your friendly local game store or at shop.wizkids.com. And uh, as an added bonus, Found Footage Festival fans can get 10% off their order at shop.wizkids.com with promo code FFF10. Um, Look at these code... figures. Do you, what do you think of that Batman figure, George? That's, That's pretty awesome. great, right? It's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled to have Hero Clicks as a sponsor of this show. I know. I can't believe it. Nick, how do you play it? Do you like turn their numbers to something and then yeah. they fight each other based that on has... their numbers? That has their health, yeah. And then you're, yeah. It's it's a really fun game. It's very like plug and play. Everybody's got special cards and abilities, and um, it's really fun. It's quick to play, and uh, yeah, I enjoy it. I like. Is that looks like an eagle-y. Yep, eagle uh, there from Peacemaker. That's exactly. Pretty great. A couple Peacemakers. Uh, you got uh, yeah. Harley. I want to play it someday. Let's play it someday. We got some uh, coming in, and I, I think wow. people can – we're going to send some to lucky viewers. Yeah, we're, 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 we're holding a contest right now. All you have to do is enter in any medium you choose. You can draw it. You can uh, cosplay. You can do whatever you want. But create a um, a superhero, a hero, if you will, uh, using uh, found, uh, found Footage Festival as one of their characters. So it could yeah. be – We've already gotten a couple in, and they're good. Yeah, They're really good. Yeah. Are we saving it for like one big show where we're going to show all of them? Well, yeah. yeah, everything's got to be okay. in by April 1st, and then we will okay. announce after that. And we'll perfect. Uh, we'll away. Um, too right. cool. All right, we got a lot to cover here. I, is there anything else we need to promote up top? We got shows I think coming let's, up. Let's get into it. We're in Florida this week, but um, well, we'll talk about it at the end. Okay, let's uh, let's play the annual graphic, Steve. Here it is.
May. There it is. It's official. We are here, and we have a, a special judge. We we brought on. So this guy, he's a, not only is he our tour manager for our UK shows, he really took a a, a risk, a, a chance on us, like twelve years ago. Uh, when he brought us out to the UK, we had great tours with him. But now, guess get this: he's he was also the keyboardist for the last iteration of The Fall, the band The Fall, Marky e. Smith's The Fall. Oh, so um, some musical pedigree ex- here. Exactly. Okay. So he was in like a, yeah, and he toured with them, and I'm sure he has some Marky e. Smith stories. Uh, let's bring him on, uh, Michael Clapham. Cheers, mate. Rap. There he is. Hello, toes go tap. Yeah, toes do go tap. Uh, welcome. Oh, do you got any Marky e. Smith stories from uh, when you toured? Were there any that uh, you can share? Uh, no, obviously not. <laughs> it's a family show. <laughs> I remember you said uh, the the funeral. The funeral was eventful. His funeral was. Uh... Yeah, ex wives fighting it out. Um, literally. Um, yeah, uh, it got in the papers. There was a rat in the group. Not in the group. Not in the band. Uh, in in the uh, funeral group, there was a rat. And it got in the Manchester Evening News uh, that there was a a, a fight. Okay, so the, yeah. the news is out there. You can't go into detail, though, can you? Um, no, not really. Then you'd be the rat, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, in, in addition to Mike, when we're on in the UK, Michael books our tour and takes us on the road, and we generally will stay at his flat. Or, but you've also appeared as you, you went to uh, one of our. You did a you did a uh, tour. tour, right? Yeah, our Midwest tour. You came on because you wanted to to book a, a Midwest tour uh, in in the United States. So yeah, yeah. and you so, came along so, for like St. Louis and Kansas City and Texas and all that stuff. Chicago down to Dallas, 2014. And, and I don't then... know. Yeah, where was it that we had Joe? Didn't feel like doing this morning news show we booked, so you went on as Joe. Yeah. Indiana, Kansas, Kansas City. Oh, he's from Indiana, down to Kansas City. We had yeah, to get yeah. up at what four a.m. We had to get up. Yep. Yeah, four yep. a.m. <laughs> Drive three <laughs> hours. <laughs> yeah, let me bring that up. This is a still from that appearance. I couldn't find the footage, but um, I saw I it for know. a second. Where'd yeah, it go? This just disappeared. Oh. Um, yeah. Uh, you, you, so you went on. They put you on the. Um, you know. Uh, they put Joe Pickett, although they spelled Joe's name wrong. No, but... no, you're supposed to be showing the picture of me as that's Joe. That's clearly Joe. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't, don't be I confused. wish we had the video what? because you had you had to do an American accent and yeah, uh, and it wasn't convincing at all. You don't do a good American. Oh, that's not that's not what you said in the car into the studio. You're like, <laughs> yes, this is great. You sound great. <laughs> I think he said something like. Back in the day, you know, when we used to collect VH, you said back in the day. Yeah, uh, it's not the, it you used. Sounded very, uh, <laughs> well, man, it was like since, since grade six, we've been collecting VHS tapes. It's like, well, we say sixth grade, but well, know, no, the, the, right. the, the real thing was the first question was put to Nick, say, so what do you guys do? What, what's it all about? And you just went, Joe, and then just handed it <laughs> off to me straight away. <laughs> watch, uh, watch <laughs> Chop and Steal, and you can hear Michael's uh, English uh, American accent. Mm-hmm. Um, also, a video that we played when we were on tour i think right before the pandemic happened we were like it was like march of 2020 when we were still touring with you uh yeah yeah yeah. and and, uh, there was one video that we got obsessed with that you had found i don't know somebody put it up on twitter the bibra video ah yes uh belgian or dutch tv um, with uh, Van the Lars, who did the you know the song "There She Goes," there yeah. she goes, again. Uh, and they went on um, Dutch TV, uh, and then <laughs> they finished the song. Well, I, I have the clip. I have the clip. Oh, I'll, great. Uh, Sorry. Yes, and I have the longer version here too. But that was a good oh, setup. Good. Here we go. Here's the Lars, uh, the Bieber clip. <laughs> Is he the most British person on the planet? Like, <laughs> oh, he looks Scottish okay. there. Like he's gurning. <laughs> to be fair, he's a little too. Uh... <laughs> Hello. What do you think about Bibra? About what? <laughs> <laughs> Bibra. Axel. Yeah, Bibra. <laughs> Confusion. 
<laughs> just <Mass> confusion. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't even try to work out what she meant. I don't know what she meant. But he goes, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's a classic. We played it constantly on that tour. Uh, <laughs> so Nick, scouts. let's play one more. Let, before we get into the Toe Tapping Tournament, Nick, play the. Uh, every time I think okay. of Michael, I always think of this clip. Yeah, uh, and this is. I imagine we're going to be saying your name this way a lot when we're on tour in the UK with you uh, in, in a couple of weeks. <laughs> oh! Cool. Michael! Cool. Oh! Cool. Michael! Oh! Cool. Michael! Michael! <laughs> I can see that happening. I can see, I can see that exact scenario happening. Yep. Right, right. Throw out a rock at your uh, genitals, and uh, yeah, yeah. Or, or you would be throwing the rock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One I'm, of I'm our the, genitals. Okay. I'm throwing yeah. stones here. Um, okay. Here's, I just want to take a, a trip through yesteryear with some of the other brackets that we've had, just so we could see. Uh, we, there was some debate about who won all these tournaments but here's uh the first one where i won that one with uh spring uh the, the, uh, spring, spring mountain chicken yeah um this one i don't even know who won this one what is that bank of ireland like? ireland the bank of one. ireland that's that right me. that was that was nick um and then uh 20 tony tony two that Did, was neat pete read? that was which one neat pete oh, neat, neat pete shuffle. oh neat pete beat sizzler I'm almost positive yeah yeah neat pete shuffle um, and then uh, this was last year's. Uh, who won that one? Uh, oh, George Commodore and- did. We just played George it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's, yeah. right. that's right. Okay, so can, can, can I go on the record? Or do you want me to wait until you declare it's all about the jockey, not about the horse? Well, I'm, I'm going to go over the rules quickly, but uh, uh but yeah, I'm what see- you're. I'm- I'm seething about this one. I'm okay, seething. listen. This is how we did it last right. year, Steve. You didn't complain yeah, last it year. Which is a terror. No, it's a terrible idea. Last year, I didn't thought it was. It's a then, great idea. It's a great I idea. Back, I, I was why. watching the show again. No. It's like we no longer have a toe tapper that's going to win it. Michael, it, it's now. It's now. No. It's like you're rooting for uh, a city. You're not rooting for a player. But nobody cares about the toe tapper that wins it at the end. I disagree, a hundred percent. No, but the one that wins it at the end. So here's the thing. Here's the way we're going to do it, Michael. We have okay. Let's say that we all three have grenades on us, right? That we can use at any moment, right? This isn't a good analogy, but. Um, <laughs> When we go head to head, we get to pick one of the grenades that we want to throw at the other one, right? So we'll have three different songs and we'll get to play any one of them against the other person. Then once you advance to the next round, you can play that same one if you think it's strong enough or you can bring out a new one. The reason I do this is so that we don't listen to the same goddamn song three, you know, constantly throughout the entire tournament. But we've cut it down on top of that. But I guess to me, the point is, it's no longer about the, the song. As you're saying, it's not. It's about you choosing what grenade no, but, to use. Oh, so now it's more. But then when you, when you go up on the to get your gold medal, then you have all these songs at your side. Like these are the winners of the, you know, this one got you past the first round. This one got you past the second round. It's a team I mean, game the, the now. The most, you, most you'd hear a song is three times if it won at all. It, you'd hear it three times. No, but, but. The, but people get sick of them by the end. Mm-hmm. Listen, it's it's your show. I, I'd love we, to hear from the Melindas on this one. It's your show about I, arguing about rules. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could have probably done it before the show started. Um, but uh, okay, so yes, it's not. A, it's about the jockey, not the horse, Michael. So um, everybody's going to present a new song to you each round. Um, well, let's see. We'll reseed. I, I I get to reseed the bracket so that this one same person doesn't have the same song going against each other because we have we have double eliminations we each have two different brackets two different sides of the brackets um and then uh we're going to draft as we go along so i did random order steve you're number one i'm number two nick is number three george is number four and then it'll snake draft around george will go twice after that and then steve will go last Okay. Couldn't be clearer. Couldn't be clearer. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, we're trying to pick the catchiest VHS song. All right. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Okay. So here's how the brackets look. Um, so Steve, you get to go first, and I get to go second. So Steve, why don't we just go in this this round right here? You you pick your sure. Go I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Linda Man. Linda Man. Oh, my number one choice. Strong pick, especially with uh, Michael being here. Um, Michael, are you familiar with Linda Man? Uh, no. Oh, boy. Okay. Steve, you want to set it up? Uh, 
I don't even know how to set it up. So I guess they found a man in a bog and uh, they gave him away to another uh, museum and they wanted to bring him back. Is that, is that right? Yeah. And then uh, then an elementary school uh, visited the museum and they have like a, a statue of Lindell man there. And uh, they made t-shirts of Lindell man. And he's a guy who, who they found dead. Like, I think he's like 2000 years old and uh, they all wore shirts and then they wrote a song about him. And uh, do you know Lindau? Do you know that area of England? I think it's northern. Well, when you said bog, I thought it was uh, a bog land. I thought it would be Ireland because that's more sort of known for that kind of terrain. But uh, no, I've never heard of that place. Yeah, okay. Um, well, Steve, you want to... Wanna... Near Cheshire, I think, somewhere. Oh, so... shit, that's near where I live. Wilmslow, okay. yeah. Wilmslow. Yeah, yeah. That's why you... yeah, I live well, very close. You're, okay. You might be related to Lindau, man. Oh, that's You'll see out. a picture of him. He kind of looks like yeah, <laughs> You see, when you see, uh, yeah, when you see the statue, I think that's where you really figure out if you know yeah. if you're related. Uh, uh, all right, Steve, he, you get, here it is. I'm not playing the whole thing. I'm playing about a little over 30 seconds of it. Good okay. pick. Gonna stop it right there just to give you a little bit um they just repeat themselves in um a few times after that well wow. did you did you get to this part where you get to see lindell man because that's the star of the show let me uh let me just put it up there so I, I that could... part. yeah, yeah. <laughs> i think it was coming up yeah that it was right we'll know what's right related here. to michael yeah. well yeah, oh yeah right there. Yeah, there he is that's lindell man <laughs> <laughs> tommy lee jones <laughs> and then this is him in the box Play with the song. Yeah, that's <laughs> he got he got run over by a steamroller. All right, I will. Uh, Break down. Break down. Break down. He just woke up. Huh? Where do you want me? Have a brick in the wall. Of course, they got the recorders. That's nice to have recorders over there. They're going out to the bog to find another recorder. I think he went to like the British Museum in London, and they wanted him back up in Cheshire. They could have had like a style and work with the a little bit better. We want you back again. Why? Uh, we have those t-shirts for sale, by the way. Short of something. Michael, what do you think? Strong start. Ask, well, let me. Can I ask a question? Do yeah. you know who Peter Sutcliffe is? No. Is oh wait, Stu I know Sutcliffe's Stu Sutcliffe. Uncle? Sutcliffe. Yeah. No, Stu Sutcliffe was the Beatle. Uh, yeah. Peter Sutcliffe. Um, yeah. Absolutely identical to those T-shirts. He's one of the worst serial killers that the UK has ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought this was some weird shit that it was like to warn kids away from like, don't go out and don't go out in the dark, etc. You need to look up Peter Sutcliffe uh, in comparison to those T-shirts because okay. that was that was staggering. So yeah, it could have been me in that video, couldn't it? Like, it I mean, could have been about the right age, the right sort of location. I presume that was close to it. Um, yeah, it, obviously I've got a connection to this, so. Great choice. Great style. Okay. All right. Now I am going to uh, go with uh, another, well, I guess another children's song. We'll keep it, uh, we'll keep it in the kids' realm. Oh. I'm going to do Totally Tulip here. Now, Totally Tulip is a song. Are you familiar with that, Michael? I know this one. Yeah. This is going to be tough now. Oh, yeah. It's a big one. Yeah. yeah. Well, see, here's Starting the thing. In two different mm. years of the toe tapping tournament, it never got out of the first round. And we have a rule that if it doesn't get out of the first round, you can bring it back. Two mm -hmm. years. We always thought it was going to advance. It never advanced. Advanced. I feel like this is finally the year. This is a song that keeps coming up. I was at, we were in Dallas a, a few months ago, and this uh, woman came up. She goes, "I that song has always been in my head, and I lo she loves the song. People love the song, and uh, people have uh, sung their own renditions of it. I'm going to include that in my um, 
my uh, video here for Totally Tulip. So I added in Reese, Reese from Australia, saying his own rendition of it. So I'm going to put Reese's version over the, the second verse here. Feeling to left, totally to left. Doing my thing, it's plain to see. Tulip paint lets me be me. Fast and fun, that's my style. Feeling to left, totally to left. Feeling to left. Totally tulip, feeling tulip, totally tulip. Wait, I, I didn't think, know we could include Reese in these. This is that kind yeah, of. Full I just, I, right it, there. I included Reese in there just to show the power and the impact it has on the viewers of VCR Party. Like people want to sing the song, they want to send it in. So, uh, and it's never made it out of the first round. I, be, I'd be Neither shocked. Has but... Lindau man, Lindau man's been in it before. Has never, never made it out of the first round either. Yeah. yeah so uh, no matter there's, what, there's <laughs> course, by the way. <laughs> I guess. You're right. Case <laughs> closed. <laughs> Not literally, obviously. But... <laughs> uh, all right, Michael, you have uh, a tough decision to make here. Yeah. Who, who moves on between Lindo Man and Totally Tulip? Well, obviously, you inserting that dude singing. Uh, you've done that to sort of help it along. I kind of feel like punishing you for that because you you doctored the video whereas the first one was the you know the original but cut who said, there's no rule i did not make well, up any know, rule that said you can't do that well i think i'm you, the judge so yeah um, you know, <laughs> um yeah uh, see the original had you know like the, in the way uh, a lot of cool pop songs have the talking bit uh, where that little girl says like shake it off by taylor swift she sort of talks a bit in the middle yeah, yeah. it had that which i liked but yeah, you've screwed the pooch, Joe, and I've got to go local. Really? I've got to go in my hometown. So <laughs> no course, way! Come on, you oh, knew. I thought you knew I, I'm blaming Reese that. from Australia. Actually, <laughs> I'm gonna have. A, I'm, gonna have a work. I'm emailing him right now, giving him a piece of my mind. So, um, all right. So let's see what uh, Lind you, Lindo. You, that, that was the equivalent of throwing a rock at Joe's nuts and him saying Michael. <laughs> <laughs> that was a brutal blow. The all right, Lindo. Lindo moves on. George, you're but, next to pick. Oh wait, you know so you next could next. use totally tulip again. Uh, George did that last year. He lost with Moo Oink and then used Moo Oink again in another round. That's a, oh, that's a good point. I still have there. that grenade. I exploded it, but I mean, then I, I I don't I don't think it should be. But yes, you still have that option. Joe, um, wink, 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 wink. I would do that again because I remember it and I love it. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Yeah, just yeah. just remove the Reese part. Okay. Mm, okay. Yeah. Damn that Reese. Um, <laughs> all right, George, you're up. No, it's Nick's next, I think. No, no, no. You're. Oh, no, you're right. Nick Nick picks next. Oh, because yeah. we've got to go against each other. Yeah. Uh, top seed. I got to go with TikTok, All About Time. Um, this is a, a video about teaching kids about how to tell time. It involves a clown that looks like Drew Carey. It involves a dog puppet and a couple of other monster puppets that kind of sound like the residents when they sing. So, has, has this ever been in the toe tapping tournament before? No, like never it, has it been. I went through them really? all. It's never been entered in the tournament, but this is one or the tournament. This is one that sticks in my head. I wake <laughs> up with it, and uh, a lot of uh, of the Melindas in the Discord um, from our Patreon suggested this, and uh, I think this might take it all. It's TikTok. Okay. TikTok. Talk about time. I've learned to tell the time, and I'm just fine. Definitely a toe tapper. Tick tock, tick tock, all about time. And now that we can do it, we're all feeling fine.
tick tock, tick tock, all about time. I've learned to tell the time, and you know I'm just fine. Tick-tock, let's talk all oh. about time, <laughs> and now that we can do it, we're all feeling fine. You hear this in the uh, rental Bye-bye. car, driving Bye-bye. from Manchester. Bye-bye. 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 See, I, I think Reese would actually help this song. See you some time <laughs> soon, and we'll talk, tick-tock, let's the funny talk saying? again. Bye-bye. Bye, kids. Bye, kids. We love you. <laughs> now what serial killer does he look like <laughs> well I was going to say we've gone from Peter Sutcliffe to John Wayne Gacy isn't right. it? <laughs> <laughs> what is this uh, uh, also- Michael I was, I was reading your body language on that one I, it seemed like you were in pain <laughs> shuffling around uncomfortably yeah it was um, it sounded like an early a, like, a cross between Peter Frampton and auto tune like gone wrong with the, when the animals started <laughs> the singing vocoder, yeah. yeah yeah it was kind of weird uh, yeah uh, all right, uh, cool, George. Uh, who who are you pitting up against TikTok? Well, uh, it's my number one seed, which is uh, a song written about Nick's sticky fingers. He uh, he uh, was caught stealing a a video game cartridge, and it's a song by Billy B. Did you write the lyrics, Joe? I I gave him lyric suggestions, and he put them all together. Okay, um, and it's just so. it's I cried laughing when i heard this just like i did with billy b's nick sips which i yep. can't believe nobody and i don't i don't like to pick this because i know it's bullying essentially a nick bullying thing but then as a <laughs> as an appreciator of music i just think this song i, I will great. say before i think uh, it's in before the after party it's one of our pre-songs and last week i saw nick rocking out to it before the uh before we go live <laughs> hey, even i have to admit it's a catchy song so. <laughs> yeah so made a wood. Is, are, Michael, are you familiar with Nick uh, shoplifting the Incredible Hulk game when uh, he was 18 and got banned from all shopcos? Nick, why don't no. you tell us? Has that story let, reached the uh-huh. I- islands? No, I, of, all the, I, of all the stories we've told. I had trouble traveling to Canada because of it, but I think England <laughs> gave me a pass, so it probably hasn't come up. But yeah, I got caught shoplifting when I was 18. It was a painful uh, memory that Joe's immortalized in song. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. My, I, I helped with the lyrics. It. I helped with the lyrics, and I and I edited the video together. But uh, right, so here otherwise, it it's all Billy B. Nick and the Hulk. 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 He swiped my shop Why?
back inside. I'm um, just letting you know that all is forgiven for the Incredible Hulk Sega game. Wow, was that your mom? Man. Was that your mom at the end? <laughs> no, that was somebody at Shopco Optical, which is their... I call them up to see if Nick is still banned from Shopco's. <laughs> and she said, everything's fine. He can come into Shopco Optical. So. Oh, and did you, did you go? I know I don't need gla- uh, those kind of glasses, so I haven't been to their optical, uh, which is the only thing that exists anymore. But next, oh, next time we're in in Wisconsin, we should go back. We should go to Shopco Optical, make a big thing of it. We'll rent some cameras and some lights and everything, and press conference. Yeah, yeah. yeah have a big reunion. <laughs> press conference. This song, yeah, no, it sounds, it sounds like a great use of our time. This song has has many different parts to it. It's like, you know, it's not just like a repeating phrase over and over again. Yeah, uh, it's, um, it's a masterwork, really. Yeah, it's got like a, almost a beat down at the end for metal fans. Um, it goes really quite heavy, doesn't it? Um, so, I, is, am I deciding now? Yep. Fuck though, because that one, that other one, Tick Tock, was fucking TikTok. crazy. Yeah. T- two very different songs, too. Yeah. It well, this is matchup. the thing, isn't it? It's, it's uh, apples and oranges, really. Um, and if it oh. wins, you, Nick and the Hulk wins. You don't have to listen to the whole thing again. Right. Yeah. You know, that's or you yeah. can play a different one on your next uh round. It's possible. Hey, I'm really sorry that I'm taking this too seriously. I'm taking No, it, um that's good that you <laughs> take it seriously. I yeah. really do or... care about this. Um <laughs> oh, like politically if I don't choose Nick and the Hulk it feels difficult. Um <laughs> but that TikTok really fucking spooked me and I like that. What do you think <laughs> what do you think what do you think uh, Melinda's uh, what do you think Melinda's want? Do you think Melinda's want uh, Nick and the Hulk, or do you think they want? Yeah, because uh, they're all yeah, they fucking love you, don't they? So uh, oh, of course I think, I think it's gonna split it. Oh really? TikTok's okay. one of the favorite like costumes. Like people, I feel like every few years, he dresses somebody's... the clown. Yeah, but we've had Wonder. no, I nah, that kind of fucked it. We've had the serial killer go through, so it's gonna be Nick and the Hulk. Nick so, and the Hulk, <laughs> killer, yeah. Can't endo- <laughs> keep endorsing. Well, time murder, time will stuff. tell about my serial killing, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody ever finds out. What a song um, that'll be, yeah. Write a song about that. <laughs> the video, uh, the, the showing the graphics from that Genesis game in the video just confirms that I was right to steal it. That that was an incredible yeah, game right. graphically. Um, all right, George. Uh, moving on to the next bracket. Uh, who do you got for your next pick? Oh, well, I'll just do something totally different. I'll do the uh, the theme song to the video Horror FX with Tom Savini. Was this a, a scimitar? Yes, this is okay. the Scimitar. Yeah, so this was yeah. the Scimitar group uh, um, put this together. And this theme, theme song is not what I expected, but I love it. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's got the graphics from Creep Show, from episodes of Tales from the Dark Side. It's everything I want to be looking at. Yeah, that's industrial jazz, isn't it? Like, yeah. fucking, what a, yeah. what a, wow! Yeah, that's okay. cool as hell. Um, all right, yeah. so then the, the next person to pick will be Nick. But uh, Nick, do you just want to pick, and then I'll go after you, and then yeah. I'll... I'm debating whether to do. I have a rugby karaoke song that I think Michael would love. I saw that on socials today. Yeah. I don't know <laughs> if I should play that for the judges. No, I'm gonna go with my heart on this one. Maybe we'll play the rugby karaoke song on uh, at, as we go out tonight because I spent a lot of time blurring the nudity on that one. You going I rugby? Am... No, I'm not oh. going rugby. Uh, put karate on, and I believe you'll see. Um, Okay. What I'm gonna play. All so. right, we'll put a pin in that one for now. We're gonna come yep. back around to me. God, I can't decide. There, there's so I'm already have I already have one eliminated. I think I'm gonna go. I think this one. I, I want to play to Michael here. So I feel like he might like safety valves too. It's a. <laughs> it's a. <laughs> Who wouldn't? It's, yeah. <laughs> it's a safety video about valves, and it's the sequel to. Yeah, we talk valves. about pandering. 
Uh, <laughs> stereotypes here. <laughs> you seem like uh, a valve, man. <laughs> it's because I'm English. But it has this funky ass soundtrack to it that's just undeniably good. And then the uh, the video that they put over it is just equally good. Oh, I hope I don't regret this because I'm out of the tournament if I don't get this right. And uh, well, yes, so this is started off, yeah. This is going up against horror effects with Tom Savini. So here it is. Safety valves too. Fingers crossed. Bullard's in it. <laughs> this is the ending, then. Look at all those safety bells. Scuffy Hedrick. Remember that funny name. There you go. Safety valves, too. Oh. oh. I'm feeling good based on uh, your body language. Was here. that an NUS Corporation film? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, we had them last week, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I, think I, I thought it might have been the same one. Yeah. I think it might be them. Yeah. Um, Michael, what do you think? Horror effects with Tom Savini or Safety Valves 2? Well, production values. My God, those production values in that second one uh, in Safety <laughs> Valve 2, sorry. And an absolute overkill. You've got to give it Safety Valve 2. Yeah. Yeah. Two. Wow. <laughs> I feel like that was the music that Look Around You was trying to aim for <laughs> yeah. the fake educational yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. music. I, I was sweating bullets on that one. Yeah. Wow. Um, all right. I feel way better. Uh, Steve, you're up against. Oh, uh, oh, wait. Let's play Karate now, Nick. No, you already declared uh, Karate. Play it before. Uh, yep. Steve declares. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. I have to bring this one in. It was. It was. This is like a surprise dark horse uh, pick because I really didn't know. <sighs> now I'm second guessing too whether <laughs> I should bring this in. No, I'm going to. I'm going to. All right, here it is. It's from a public access show um, in Alabama called The Dean and Company. Oh, nice. <laughs> this is their annual Christmas special. <laughs> this one's from the early nineties, <laughs> and I call it. Karate Christmas. <laughs> Christmas time is here. We'll bring it in with cheer. Now we'll do karate with a to get you in the Christmas mood. Oh, You're playing with fire, Nick. I would not want to meet these two in a dark alley. I'm going to tell you that. <laughs> we are happy as Christmas. We hope you're happy too. So have a merry I think you just can't help tapping your toes to this. <laughs> I wake up with it. I do. More than any other That was song. fun. Jesse and Sarah Jane. I wake oh. up with it. It's just, yeah. That was the 60, 65th vocal take they did, and that was the best of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's uh, insane. I love it. And uh, yeah, so oh, I, had boy, to, it, I had to go with that. And yeah. Nick, you're eliminated if karate doesn't make it. That was a yeah. risky pick. Hey, there. I, I went down swinging. If, if, okay. if, if I do. So. Uh, like in a shopping uh, that's, mall. <laughs> that's, the Tom, that's the one for the fans of Tom York, that, you know, a little bit. There's no percussion, <laughs> just kind of noisy <laughs> soundscapes. Exactly. Yep. 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 So uh, play, all right, playing to the judge on that one. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> Steve, what about you? What do you? Uh, what, I, I'm what too going to go out on a limb because you know I don't know what Michael likes, um, and I'm going to go. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try a hungry hobo. It's a <laughs> rap version. <laughs> it's a commercial. It won. I think it won our Iowa uh, state jingle contest. It did. It did. Um, you know, it, it, it's it's it's. Well, it's certainly not for everybody. I think it's for a lot of people, and I think it's it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's gonna be a fun one. So here is Hungry Hobo. Hip hop and Hobo. Hobo, it's a rapping sandwich, but you know what's even more outlandish than that? It's our combo meal. Take advantage, quick! You can eat me with a drink and a bag of chips, baked potatoes. Whoa, what a deal! Pardon the pun, but that's a meal with a peel for real. Let the chili chill. You can burn your 
ourselves on all these hot deals. Hungry hobo, yo, we got skills. Two locations in the metro, yeah. Urbandale and West Des Moines, taste this. Easy to find, hard to resist. Oh, that sandwich can spit. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that sandwich has got science. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't okay. ever, 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 ever want to see any of those pictures of that food ever again. <laughs> no, no offense to your national cuisine or anything. <laughs> Hoagies. Yeah. Um, all right. So, cool. okay. Just, just so, just to make it clear, if Nick loses here, he's out of the entire tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, Steve has already advanced with Lindau. Um, okay. So, hungry hobo versus karate, Michael. What do you? I'm gonna go. Uh, gonna go with my Tom York uh, vibes and go with karate, yes. please. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. Really. That's a, you know I would call that an upset. I, I would as well. Uh, yeah. 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 We got a we got a I, jingle winner. Yeah. But. I feel I he's voting for Nick. He's not voting for the song. But you know, right. <laughs> how dare you? How dare you? <laughs> I told you my reasons. My reasons were laid out quite clearly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now we're going over to the other side. Now we're gonna go over here and. Um, Lindau could go up against Nick and the Hulk, or we can swap out. Or, or uh, George, you can swap out and do something new, or Steve, you can swap out and do something new. All right, uh, Steve, you decide first. Um. Oh boy, this is tough. I'm gonna swap out. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Taurus. Um, this was sent in by Elizabeth Palmer. It's the first Taurus which is a Ford, and it's just another. Uh, I think it's a toe tapper. Okay, it's Taurus I remember Car. This commercial. Taurus yeah, Car. Yeah. Okay. It's a car. Right? Okay. I thought it was uh, Harvey said Fisher. Although I maybe go once again, maybe shoot myself in the foot here because I do feel like this is very American. So, uh, do you want me to play it now? Uh, yeah, play it now. For us now, there is a personal car that has exactly what we're looking for. Taurus now, there's an American car with the shape and the feel we've never seen before. For all of us who demand excellence in design and function, for all of us who will not compromise, Ford listened. Ford created Taurus for us. For us, now there's an American car that has exactly what we've been looking for. Taurus, now there's an American car with the shape and the feel we've never seen before. Ford has seen where we're going. Ford has heard us loud and clear. A sweet ass car. It's my first car. Lately. All right. Lately. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And it looks exactly like a Taurus too. Like it looks like a bull, didn't it? That mm. badass station wagon. I, they don't make them anymore. They. I had. I had a, my first car in 1998. Was a nine or 1990? Yes, in 98 was an 88 Ford Taurus wagon, and uh, it was given to me. And I didn't know you had to put oil in it. In cars. <laughs> <laughs> so I just rode it until it was, on, you know, smoking. on fire. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but uh, we used to sing know, that song on the bus. Did you really? Home. Yeah, yeah. I I had a Taurus given to me too by I an ex's dad. Uh, yeah, ex's mine dad. was an ex's mom. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they just yeah, they're just like, do you want this car? It has like four hundred and eighteen thousand miles on it. It's like, yeah, of course, I'll take it. <laughs> uh, Nick, you had a Taurus given to you too. I, I did, yeah, yeah. It was a parents' okay. hand me down when they didn't okay. want it anymore. Right. Huh. Um, all right. So there's uh, the new song by Steve. Even though he doesn't like the rules, he's abiding by them. And that's, that's controversial weird. pick to, okay. to get rid of the British video for Taurus, yeah to put we'll in Taurus instead out. of Lindo. Yeah. So um, all right. Against George. Yeah, George, well, I'm, you... I'm sticking with Nick and the Hulk. We'll just watch a, a little bit of it. Okay. I'll wait for Nick to take it off the screen. Yeah. <laughs> Nick and the Hulk. That seems good. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? All right. Uh, <laughs> you went longer than I thought you were going to go. Right? <laughs> uh, Nick and the Hulk versus the Taurus song. So the thing with Taurus is I'm really conflicted because they were clearly just given marketing copy, just like dry marketing copy, and they tried to make it into like – Fucking an absolute bang, yeah, an anthem. Um, and they, to my mind, they succeeded. Um, oh, so, <laughs> a little bit of a dream of difficulty there. But, but 
Or did they? Um, this I is an elimination round. Somebody's going to be eliminated here. Yeah, a lot of pressure. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> fuck. I think I'm going to respect the hustle and I'm going to go Taurus. I'm going to wow. say, uh, yeah, wow. I'm going to say Taurus. Wow. Okay. All right, Taurus. Message okay. boards are exploding. Because if, if we are on toe tapping alone, it gets through. Sure. You know? See, yeah, I, no. George, this yeah. might have been a misstep by you. You, you could, you maybe should have switched it up because Michael had already heard that song and he's hearing it a second time. Steve doesn't <laughs> like the rules, but apparently I, I he does. Like apparently he like does because he's. All. I can't oh, wait I to see what Melinda saw off the screen. That was my mistake. That was your mistake, actually. Because <laughs> if, if we've gone three longer. seconds of it, wasn't enough. To, yeah, uh, to win yeah. Um, again. <laughs> um, okay, uh, who goes? Uh, Nick, are you sticking with Karate? Or are you gonna? You know, uh, because Michael went with the toe tappinger song. Toe tappinger is a word, right? Yep, this, right. this all For makes sure. sense. I'm sim- I think I'm gonna go rugby karaoke because Ooh, wow. I think ultimately you could tap your toe more to rugby karaoke. Wow, maybe you will shoot yourself in the toe the way I did. I might. <sighs> yeah. I- I don't know, Nick. I feel like this is like a great cleanup hitter coming in. Like you, you kept this in your back pocket. I think he's going to love this one. In fact, I think you've already watched it, haven't you, Michael? You've seen it. No, no, I don't think so. Because I was okay. going to suggest, can we play this on the tour on the yeah, tour I w- in April? So I want to add a, yeah, I want to add this <clears throat> montage to our UK tour. But here's just a little. Um, and keep in mind, within the first five seconds of the this video where you, the lyrics are on screen to sing rugby songs, it's from the UK. Um, there's full frontal nudity. So I, I, the blurring machines were working overtime for this song. If I were the marrying kind. If I were the marrying kind, I thank Lord I got her. The kind of lad that I would be would be a rugby fullback. Blue jingle all the way. <laughs> a lady. Huh? If what? I were the marrying kind, I thank oh, Lord. Lord I got her. I'm blurring. That's the videos. Tank? Wait, why is there a tank? <laughs> wow. Is that a bloke's arse or is that a. Oh, these are both ladies. About ladies. Okay. If I was a marrying kind, what is this? I'd thank the Lord I got her. <laughs> the kind of man that I would be would be a saint. Look where the photo goes. No. <laughs> classy. Keep it classy, rugby. All right. There's, oh, there's a lot more the arse in that than I was expecting. Yeah, arse. yeah, I have seen that. Yeah, you've shown it before. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I was gonna forget that. Yeah, but that's that's one of those ones that like because it's meant to be sung in pubs or you know uh, stadiums that it's it's catchy. You tap your toe to it by design. So that's one that I wake up to. Uh, I feel like I feel like you the, the, you use some steroids on this one because you you know how much Michael loves naked ladies and like you put in some naked ladies and in there English and sports. and English sports and their old jolly songs. I mean, God, hey, gotta play the no, game. No, there's gonna be some class warfare going on in my mind. So, oh, think, uh, interesting. yeah, I forgot about the uh, pot. The, the old PCs. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. so I, I it's between two right now for me. And I can't decide what I want to. <sighs> Do I go Okaboji Girl? Ooh, oh, I feel like Michael be... might love that or he might hate that. I, I don't think there's going to be any middle You're ground. Getting rid on of that. safety valves? Wow. Yeah, wow. I've got to move on from safety valves. We already heard it. Wow. Uh, it didn't work for George. I'm going to move on. I'm going to do Okaboji Girl. So, uh, wow. After he basically told you that Totally Tulip would have. Uh... <laughs> would have went on but no nope, your choice has been made <laughs> i'm doing okaboji girl I'm, I'm throwing caution to the wind here wow um all right so this is a a band out of uh, okaboji which is a resort town in mm-hmm. iowa it's northern iowa and these guys made a homemade music video and and i know that you like like radiohead tom york and stuff like that and i think that this is very much in that spirit and uh i think uh i think you're gonna like this one because you're a musician yourself and so uh this will speak to you <laughs> okay okay all right here's okaboji girl homemade music video of uh, from okaboji iowa one, one, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> 
<laughs> what do you think about that backdrop there? Do you think that that's a nice backdrop for the for that particular very, shot? Yeah, like yeah. Yeah. this one. Action. Yeah, very late nineties. See, see, yeah. bu- see Bush this- doing a video like that. <laughs> without a ceiling panel up there. That's <laughs> flaming fu- flaming flowers. Very Tom York. Facts. I took the car for a spin, couldn't get away. Here's a hook. <laughs> all right and so here i just showed you one half of it if it moves on to the next round i will show you the second half and it actually gets better oh we um, banned that if we, it last year we banned well, like the, bribe, the bribing of uh yeah yeah yeah, yeah but the, and the second half back. does get better the second half oh. does actually get better all right. um yeah, all right yeah, I love, love, love the place playing an Ibanez, which is like for shredding metal, really. <laughs> yeah. It's just fucking, he can't play it, can he? Uh, and the dr- the drums as well. Oh, my God. I'm making my choice now. Yeah, you're making your choice yeah. between Okoboji Girl and the rugby song. Yeah, I'm really oh, sorry, Nick. Kind. I'm, I'm sorry, Nick. It's Okoboji Girl because I love wow. shit. I love shit like that. I, lo- wow. I love hearing you say Okoboji Girl in your British accent. <laughs> I thought it was going to be Japanese. but like, No. It sounds Japanese. <laughs> Okoboji Girl moves on to go up against Taurus. Uh, me against Steve. All right. There we go. Is rugby more of like a posh sport than football in the UK? Uh, well, uh, in England, it's the posh sport. In Wales, it's the working class sport. Oh, in Scotland, it's a posh sport. And in Ireland, it's a working class sport. So it huh. kind of varies. Okay. Yeah, depending on how many private schools you've got in your country. I see. So yeah. they, the the Empire songs... fell. I can't keep up. <laughs> yeah. The songs they were singing seemed working class, but maybe they were aping the the working class mm, no songs. I, yeah i think you need to hit the football terraces for that sort Got of stuff um, yeah. hey, so i have a question about how we should do this tournament so right now we could steve and i could go toe to toe and bring up a new song we each have one ready to go or we could stick with what we have or we put it up to the melinda's because i do want to change my song now at this point i want to go with something different uh for this last yeah. round and as long as we have michael here we might as well just do it and then yeah. but then let the melinda's also vote in the poll and do they get ultimate say, or do we just say that Michael gets ultimate say here? Uh, I think we get we they take Michael's say into account, and then we vote on it, uh, and the the viewers determine the ultimate winner. Okay, all right, all right. Let's do it. Let's let's have a, a resolution here. Um, Steve, do do I go first or do you go first? Does it matter? I don't think it matters. I'm ready to go if you want. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go back to Lindau. Um, I just wow. feel as though that's. <laughs> That's that's my that was my number one draft choice. It's the song that I like. I would have wrote them all the way through, but I just felt, uh, you know, let the viewers see something else, and I was confident. Steve, are hungry. you saying um, we want you back again to Lindo Man? Is that what you're? That is exactly okay. what I am saying. Interesting. Um, and here I will show you out of you know that amazing uh, class of school children. They chose one girl to be the star, and here she is. This time we love. Young Billy Eilish, right? <laughs> Please refrain. Oh, that's awesome. I like her posture of doing the arm behind. Liam, Liam Gallagher. <laughs> now we found Look at the t shirts now in contact, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I think that's Peter's touch club. And his hand. Oh, I want to hear this quarter solo. 
I want to see Pennywise the clown on those steps. There it is. <laughs> that was like the, the yeah. So it's like a a, ch- a Chekhov's gun thing. If you see a recorder on the table in the play, you have to <laughs> yeah. play it. Like... Got to pay off. Yeah. Do they do that? Do, sorry to ask, but do they do? Do they play the recorders? I don't think we ever hear them in the I don't video. Think so either. No. Yeah. Just there, just for effect. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think it's for the next song they play after that. They do another. Yeah. So now, Joe, what are you going to do? Ultimately? I mean, I could bring back Totally Tulip, even though it lost in the first round. That would, be a, bad, that would be a bad move. That would be a terrible mm-hmm. move. It already lost. There's I mean, no way. It already you, lost you, to Lindau, man. Yeah. Specific. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Right. exactly. That'd, be, that'd be so anticlimactic. It's mean, like this whole thing's meaningless. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you made this whole tournament a joke, but go ahead. Uh, all right. I might bring out Table Rock Lake here. So, uh, Michael, <laughs> you remember when we were on tour um, – you, uh, we stopped off in like, like the Ozarks area, like in in Missouri. Do you remember that we got our pictures taken with Precious Moments? Nick, do you remember oh. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember there's the, we went to the Precious Moments Museum or Chapel, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So this particular song comes from that area, and we have fond memories from that era area. So I thought maybe we'd do a little Table Rock Lake. Do you guys remember this one? Yep. Sure yeah. Joe, everything you do is like you have a little story, a little just planting seeds. <laughs> <laughs> just... You remember that, Michael? You remember that memory? <laughs> Did you have fun there? Did you have fun? Bring that. Marginal uh, gains. I love it. Does that right. friendship mean anything? Would you vote for this for our friendship? <laughs> All right. So here is a, a little table rock like um and this this is a to- this is what toe tappers are all about right here. All right, here it is. This is um I think it's a of promotional video for a resort near Branson in the Ozarks. So here we go. Jet skis skipping on the water. Little kids splashing like otters. This part sucks. It's going to get good. Houseboats and that ain't all. When the sun goes down and the whippoorwill calls. Then no man we want you back again. Down on Table Rock Lake. Here we go. Dictionary definition of a toe tapper, right here. <laughs> I bet your toe is actually tapping right now, Michael. Yeah, that's it. Look at a thumbhead. Where's Reese? <laughs> Wait, who stopped it? Not me. Oh. Oh, he's controversial. Oh, it, 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 it was me. I meant to hit mute. I unmuted. Yeah. 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 Luckily, they say the first 14 more times. <laughs> so many shades of white. Yeah. <laughs> Every Caucasian <laughs> color of the rainbow. This might be the whitest video of all time. <laughs> These are super cock people. I was working on a uh, the greatest night in pop documentary joke for here, uh, and that's, yeah. that's why I was unmuting myself. You were working yeah. on what? Did you, ever, did you see the We Are the World documentary? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there was actually was a documentary thinking. about this, the greatest night in Branson, and it was a documentary. About yeah, right, right, right. Yep. Bob it looks, uh, uh, hold on, it that's not done like, yet. It looks like moments before the mass suicide to me. Wayland Jennings leaves. Drunk Al Jarrell? What? <laughs> See, I guarantee, Michael, and we could call the phone number there, too. Um, I guarantee, <laughs> Michael, you're going to wake up tomorrow morning with Down on Table Rock Lake in your head. Yeah. Uh, because it's, t- it's going to toe tap its way into your brain. <laughs> and my heart. I and think, heart. Um, like most things you sort of show me or say to me or get me involved in, they're designed to annoy me. And uh, that, like, they had a real. <laughs> that, <yeah. laughs> that was one of those things. The way annoy. Uh, annoy me. Yeah. Uh, did it like, an- get, annoy get love into your heart? Yeah. Is that what you mean? Um, okay. okay. So, so we're two ballads here, really, aren't we? Um, yeah. 
uh, it feels too obvious to say Lindo because of the home connection, but it is. I don't know if we. Am I am I judging this solely on toe tap ability, toe tap or whatever you call it's it? The general criteria. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's called the toe tapping tournament, so yeah, I would I would generally say you should be looking yeah. at the toe tap ability of a song, but uh, in past I don't think it's always been a toe tapper. Like, no, like, I, I, I think. Island, you- yeah, it it can just be like a classic found footage VCR party video that seems like it should be canonized, you know that kind or, of thing, or an anthem of that. Or an of, anthem. Of that. So, and you're just giving a suggestion to the viewers, you know what what you would put. So I think ultimately it's going to be the viewers yeah, who decide right. to find. Yeah. Should he also factor in the the videos that got us here, that got Stephen here, Steve and I here too? Like, should yeah, he yeah let's change the rules forced? of the finals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's discuss. <laughs> well, I think just the song. I think you. I, I your think you're, right. you're right. You're right. This is this is the closer. Race. This is the cleanup hitter here. Uh, this is what we set in. So yes, gauge it on this song alone. All right, drum roll. There we go. Uh, you got an answer. Yeah. Okay. The way they're doing British TV shows when they're giving the uh, the winner out. Uh huh. Even though I'm not giving the winner out, I understand that. Table Rock Lake. Yes! Whoa! Wow! I did not. Yes, I won wow. it. Wow! Table Rock Lake. Yes, it's, it's still in my head. It's still, I feel like. Have, have you stopped playing it? Are you still playing it? Because it's in. Like, it's still yes. Going. Yeah, Table we could Rock. just put the most repetitive songs in here every year too, because they those do get stuck in your head the most often. But, well, I yeah. thought the Eyes Have It would have it. The yeah, Eyes Have It has that, but it didn't. It didn't go on. But um, yeah. yeah um, Yes, Michael. Well, uh, not without controversy, like uh, like all years, and um, I think there were some missteps. I didn't know uh, rugby would be so controversial, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I apologize. But well, I, yeah, yeah, we will put it up to the viewers. You can go to our Patreon um, and vote. We'll put the poll up, and uh, you vote uh, from those top two, the championship round. What should be the toe tapping ultimate winner? Keeping in mind Michael's pick and uh, all of should our. Should we say that? Michael's pick adds 10% to the finish. No, no, no. no. Michael's as an automatic 10% weight, weighted to it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Okay. We'll <laughs> and then whatever. Let's do that. Yeah. So like Table Rock like already is up by 10% right now. Okay. Right. I, right. By the way, uh, that might work out because I do believe there a you have at least a 10% uh, discount, if you will, with Melinda's. Like, I think people in general do not want to see you win, so I think that that, <laughs> that is going to work in my favor. Maybe I didn't wrong. either. I didn't, but yeah. I just had to go with my toe. So, you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was excellent uh, judging. Uh, come yeah, early, like, stay late, anytime. Like, yeah. your, like your commentary. And we're going to see you. So we're in Florida uh, this week, but then we got our 20th anniversary, and then looky, looky where we are. Belfast, Dublin, then we're going to see you in London, Bristol, your home in Manchester, Leeds, and Nottingham. Um, and what's your favorite accent? Is it Ooh, Leeds? Yeah, definitely. Definitely Yorkshire. Leeds. Yeah, yeah. What's that Lovely. one sound like? Hello, Nick. How are you doing? <laughs> All right. You're coming to the show tonight. Oh, uh, yeah. I can't wait to get to uh, back to Leeds. I, uh, fucking, hate, I fucking hate rugby. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Like um, all right. And then in. before you go, uh, Michael, just one thing. What do you think about Bibra? Oh, uh, what do you think about Bibra? You are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's tough. All right. Thank you, Michael. You did good. See you soon, boys. Love you. Yep. <laughs> bye. See you, bye. 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 Is there an uh, outro for the yeah, tap? Steve, play the outro. Steve, play the outro so it's not awkward. May. May. Yes. All right. I won. Well, I won. Not, yet. not yet. I won this part of it. Yeah. What are we going to watch for our bonus episode for Patreon this week? Something because we're in Florida. So would it make sense to do? We already did one kid's opinion. I don't know. What should we watch? Uh, I don't know. I haven't thought about it. Let us know in all. the comments. We'll, yeah. uh, we'll pick something. Uh, but this Saturday, it's um, Easter is Sunday, right? So we're going to watch a, a weird kind of lost 1974 <laughs> Easter cartoon called Easter is. It's not even a complete sentence, the title. Um but uh, it's about a kid who neglects a dog and um, a really That's a, groovy poster. It's so. a fun one. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, Rewind, uh, we have fun categories on there. If you haven't, if you haven't subscribed, it's our uh, Netflix service, but for all of our goofy VHS stuff and all of our shows and all that. But we also have fun categories. We have one category called Not Squirrels. There are absolutely no squirrels in the videos in this particular category. We have a category called uh, Sexual Vegan Gingers, and we just include videos that include uh, a, a sexual, very highly sexual vegan gingers in it. There's another category. <laughs> There's another category called "These Are the Franks We Know," and it's all guys named Frank in that category. So uh, check out uh, Rewindo. Uh, it's really dumb. Okay, I think that's it for this week. So many great toe tappers. I want to go out on one that's from a commercial that uh, I've played before. I just think it's a good short, less than thirty second uh, toe tapping jingle we can get out on. Uh, but until right. uh, until. I guess tomorrow, if you're going to join us for our bonus episode, or until next week, we'll be right back right after that. Uh, if we had been prepared, we could have done better. Remember to send your uh, costume entries in whatever form you want, or your hero entries to info at fondfootagefestival.com. My nose fun isn't footage, fully up anymore. Fondfootagefest.com. Fest. Yeah. There it is. Yep. Big brown bear, bit of big black bug. Two milk are gonna do it right now. She drinks the water when we pump her tail. She's raising her head, it's milking time now. Her pretend milk is a feeling the pail. She drinks water, I just pretend milk. Milky the marvelous milk in a cow. When we return, Dr. Selmer will complete the bunion surgery. Yes, those are his pajamas he's wearing. All right, I gotta go. That's all. That's it. Let me see that one. Rocks are done. Gotta sleep. Bye. That's it. That had it done. We did our best. If we'd been prepared, we could have done better. What do you think about Bibra? About what? In a. My nose is for yuck anymore. Ooh. That's all I'm doing. Cheerio, don't. Have a good day. Sizzler. Tinkerbell. We'll be right back right after that. Good luck from all of us at Hogan. And Kurt Polster, the real great guy. Thank you very much for being here, and God bless you very much. Night, night. Goodbye. Jim's coins in Hilda. <laughs>